uh, I'm going to be uh, talking just a very few minutes on uh, in Revelations, the second chapter, uh, first verse through seven, says, Unto the angel of the church of Ephesus write, These things saith he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. I know thou works, and thou labor, and thou patience, and how thou canst not bear them which are evil, and thou hast tried them which say they are apostles and are not, and has found them liars, and has bore them, and has patience, and for my sake, name's sake, has labored, and has not fainted. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and remove thy candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. But this thou hast, that thou hatest the deeds of the Nicolonians, which I also hate. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the tree of life, which in the midst of the paradise of God. Bill, will you bless the word? God, you anoint this service today, Lord. God, I don't know the words are in order, Lord. Lord, I pray that we receive. God, what you have to receive in this place tonight, Lord, we'll be able to give you praise. Uh, you know, a couple of days ago when Brother Billy had asked me or, or something, we were talking anyway about uh, ministering, and, and I, I, I don't usually make plans for that anymore, Richie, because I never know from day to day how my health is going to be. Yeah. But I uh, got up this morning with these scriptures on my mind. It said, it said that he had someone against them. Yeah. And I was thinking about God, and that's God who speaks to God's people. Yeah. You know, these are people that went to church and worked for the Lord and labored yeah. for the Lord. Amen. Yet somewhere, Brother Billy, yeah. along the path, somewhere, Come on. it don't say they lost their first love, but said they left it. They left it. Yeah. Somewhere back there, in the midst of the work for the Lord, or yeah. I should have been the work for the Lord, Come on. in the midst of the ambition, in yeah. the midst of the goal to make it on home to the bridegroom, yeah. they left that first love. Yeah. You know, I was thinking about when I first got saved. Oh, I wanted to go to church. Yeah. I wanted to feel His presence. I wanted to please the Lord, my Come bridegroom. On. I wanted to please Him. You know, I was so in love with Him. Yeah. Uh, but somewhere along the way, there's been times I had lost that, left it, yeah. left. Uh, all right, if I went to church, but I didn't that's all right too. I still pursued I was saved, you know, because I still went to church doing what I thought the Lord wanted me to do. But I didn't have that that spunk, that ambition, yeah. that anticipation. Yeah. And you know, I was thinking about brother me and Brother Bill be married thirty nine years this month. Man, when I first met Bill, my heart just fluttered. Come on. I just couldn't wait to get home from school and call him. Yes. Yeah. Mom tried to stop that, but <laughs> anyway, we still got married. But you know, and I wanted to please him. Yeah. I wanted to please Bill. Come on. And you know, there was times along the way that I had to ask, Lord, but do my love for Bill. Come I love Bill. Yeah. I loved him with all my heart. Come on. But I didn't have that. Well, I didn't really care if I pleased him. Come on. Maybe I would speak to him in a certain tone that I could care less. Come on. See, I lost that love that I once had. Come on. And sometimes along the way of this 39 years, I've had to say, Lord, renewing me that love for my husband. Come on. And you know, the same thing with God tonight. Come on. You know, He wants us. He's going to be our bridegroom. Yes. He wants me to have the love for Him like 42 years ago when I first met Bill that I had for Bill. Honey, I love Bill with all my heart. But honey, I tell you what, Jesus Christ tonight wants to be our bridegroom. Oh, and He is a jealous God. Hallelujah. He don't want us to burn the way up and Come nothing on. else but Him. Come on. Because He's a Brother Bill wasn't going to put up with me for around somebody else. Come on now. No, if he was a man, then he should be. I mean, come I know on. people do everything they want to do. Oh, yeah. Come on, that'll preach. But he wasn't going to do that. Yeah. And I wasn't with him. Come on. But somewhere along the way, we leave it. Yeah. And you know, even with my rock with God, I think, now, when we had the church in Ireland, I had, I would think this, we had, I had it. I had an ambition that's fun. Come on. 
what happened? Where did it, where did I leave it? Yeah. See, if you've lost something, you don't know where that's at. Come on. But if you left something, you know where it's at. Come on. So along the road, Brother Billy, yeah. I've had to go back and pick up that first love. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that first oh, love. Lord. To where I could please the bridegroom. The one that I'm going to spend eternity with. You know, I want to please him. I want to feel his presence. I want to feel his love and go through me when I'm going through the trials. I want to feel his company arms when I'm in the valley. And I don't know how I'm going to get over the next time. And I want to please him. We need to find that first love again. Come on. We need to go back yeah. and pick it up. And you know, like like I said with Brother Phil, I love him with all my heart, but there's been times I said, Lord, we knew that. We knew that. Come on. You know, I have because you know there'd be times I didn't care how y'all meant this a lot, but there'd be times, you know, I could care less if I place, you know, we love each other, we've got a home, we've got a family. Just go accustomed. Yeah. Honey, God don't want to just be a Come on. Like that with us. Come on. He don't want to just have a little association with us. Come on. He wants us to love Him. He wants us in the Come middle on. of the night when we wake Come up, on. Jesus is on our mind. Yeah. When we get up in the morning, Jesus is on our mind. As we go through the day, Jesus is on our mind. Come on. You know, He wants us wrapped up, tied up, and tangled up in Him. Amen. And uh, that's all right. basically all I have, Brother Billy. I just, uh, it's, I know it's short. But we need to go back and do that first box over. Come on. You know, honey, if you don't know where you left him, you need to find it right back down here again, yeah. Brother Billy. Yeah. Do it over. Yeah. Do it over. You know, me and Brother Bill, we've been doing our vows some time ago. We got it over. You know. Come on. But I, that's all I have. I know it's it was short. All right. But he wanted the bridegroom. You know, he's looking for an overcomer. Come These on. people loved him to a certain extent. Yeah. They got stuff to a certain extent. Yeah. You know, because this is his people he was talking to. He said, but I got someone against you. Yeah. You know, you somewhere along the path, you left me. Yeah. You thought, okay, I'm going to church service here. I'm going to do this and this and this. But he's not in it. Come on. Just because you go to church and you sit on that pew, don't mean God's in it. Come on. You know, he's, that does not mean he's in it. Yeah. So we need to go back and find what he wants us to do. Yeah. To renew that love. And say, Lord, give me that ambition. Come on. Give me that joy I used oh, to have. Yes. When I tell everybody, yes. Jesus is coming. And the last time we oh, told everybody, it was exciting. No, 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 Honey, no, no, Jesus no, no, is coming. No, 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 You're going to get your house in order. But that's what the Spirit is telling us tonight. Come on. And I just praise the Lord for being here, and I thank you. Amen.